Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I want to do something somewhat similar in this video to what we did in the last one. This is the animation we will make today and I will show you the steps I took to make it. From painting to 3D modeling and then animating the character in Photoshop. I find that a blank Photoshop canvas can be quite daunting and challenging to start from. So what I tend to do is to make a few layouts in 3D first. For this one I didn't require much 3D work, all I did was to create a distorted plane and adding a painted grass and dirt texture to it. This is something I've painted and used in my previous videos. When I bring that quick render into Photoshop, there are some paint and colors on the canvas already that I can now start from. I know others might drop in a few photos and blur them to also break the barrier of having a blank canvas to start from. This is my preferred way. Here are some of the references I collected beforehand. To paint the tree I used this image as my main reference. I then started painting. To paint a tree is quite a relaxed process. There are no real rights or wrongs. You just keep adding detail and let your brush strokes lead the way. As long as the fundamentals are there, the viewer will not be able to tell if this tree is painted in the right way or not, as trees comes in all different shapes and forms. It's different if you paint a face for example, as most of us can tell if something is off or if the proportions are not there correctly. I use a few different colors to start with and keep blending them together painting with different opacities and tones. I try to imagine a light source and then shape different planes with lighter and darker colors to add variety to the bark and not make the tree a smooth cylinder for example. A few holes in the tree adds point of interest and I think it looks nice with all the leaves and vines that cling onto the trunk. I've made quite a few different brushes that helps me quickly lay out foliage. That makes painting the trees you see in the background fairly easy. Then it's just a matter of adding more details to where you find it suitable. When I was happy with the painting I went back to Cinema 4D to model the scooter. This was really fun as it's a bit of problem solving to figure out how to create each part. Using a low poly cube within a subdivider that I keep extruding from is a great way to model most things really. When I took my scooter reference image I try to categorize it into individual shapes that I can create. You don't want to try to make the full object out of one mesh. Rather divide them into small elements and then combine them together. For the final colors of the scooter, I used standard Cinema 4D textures with my color set in the luminance channel. That will show up without any shading. I selected a few different colors and dropped them onto the different parts of the model. I later rendered the scooter with sketch and tune turned on, so that it got the outlines, making it look a bit illustrated. Coming back to my original landscape scene in Cinema 4D, I brought in the full background image and added that to the luminance channel of a texture. I then dropped that onto my original landscape mesh and set it to camera mapping. 
This will use the camera we are looking through to project the full painted image onto the mesh. When using a different camera to navigate the scene, you can really see how that works. What's cool about this is that I can now, in 3D, move around the scene and that will be a good guide to see where the ground plane goes as I animate the scooter. I drew out a spline that I aligned to the floor. This spline will act as a rail for my scooter and I can animate its position up and down the spline. I also added a bit of bounce as it drives up the dirt road. I then rendered that out without a background and brought it over to my Photoshop project. I enabled the timeline so that I can now start to animate. Creating a new video layer, I started laying out the character in some key positions. I start simple and animate my character putting his foot down as the scooter stops. I've not applied any design to him yet. All I'm after is to establish the right motion. I then iterate and using new video layers, I paint on top of the previous one to add more accuracy to the motion. Still no real design to the character at this point. When the rough stick man character, or whatever we could call this guy, is in place, it makes it easier to paint the final one and to add design.
I keep flicking back and forth between the frames to make sure that the details like ears and hair is moving in the right way as he's turning his head. This all comes down to being able to visualize what you want to happen and then being able to draw that. I did not animate all the frames for him as he drives the scooter, as I used a quite cool trick I figured out in Cinema 4D, which I will show you in a bit. When all the outlines were drawn, I colored all the frames. This is quite a tedious process and requires quite a bit of patience. As I mentioned before, I only drew a few keyframes for when he drives the scooter. I exported these as PNG images on transparency and took them into Cinema 4D. Adding a simple plane that I attached to the scooter, I mapped the exported images of the character onto that plane. I then swapped between the different keyframes as they hit their original frame and that makes the character animate with the scooter using minimal frames drawn. Basically the 3D plane does most of the motion and with my drawn keyframe I adjust his posture to fit the perspective. The more of these frames I would draw the smoother it would be, but I was pretty happy with this. I painted a trail in the dirt that I animated in using a mask in After Effects. That now appears as the scooter drives in. Finally, to add some more motion to the scene, I animated a small bird in the tree. I had it fly off as the guy below comes driving in. I also added some leaves falling and dust particles floating through the air. Here's the final animation. For future videos, subscribe to the channel, like this video and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post next. Stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next one.